So what are some best practices for refinancing a VA loan? Hi, this is Rick Elmendorf and on this channel, I give you my opinions, advice, and real talk about mortgages and real estate. Today, I want to talk about something that will become highly prevalent in 2023 and 2024, which is refinancing or doing a VA IRRRL for your VA loan. Normal refinances, you have to give a lot of paperwork and documents and whatnot. VA EARLs are super, super simple. Here are some best practices. First and foremost, it doesn't really matter to refinance with the lender that you currently are with. And that may sound a little weird, but oh, my lender is gonna cut me this great break. Well, they're really not. What you wanna find is someone that's gonna make the process super simple and that has really good rates. And I would just go ahead and shop around. This is a good idea to, to call two or three different lenders. First of all, call your bank, check with your existing servicer, and then call somebody else. You can call me if you want. Go ahead and shop around for the rate, get a couple of few quotes, and then once you have all those quotes, then go back to the person that you like the most and see if they can't maybe sweeten the pot. Okay, the second thing you wanna look at doing is trying to refinance, especially in a market where interest rates are falling. You do not wanna pay a bunch of costs. Here are my thoughts on that matter. If I know that the market right now is sitting at, let's say, 5%, for a VA loan. Five and a quarter to 5% is where we are right now with no points. You can take a rate of five and a half or 5.75 and get all of your closing costs paid. If I know rates are going to be falling in the future, then why in the world would I pay costs forcing a break even of paying those costs in four to five years? It makes no sense. If I'm gonna refinance at least one or two more times, and even if I'm wrong, take the higher rate, pay no closing costs. Interest rates are gonna fluctuate up and down. This is a abnormally high interest rate environment that we're sitting in. My advice to you is pay low to zero closing costs when you refinance. Get the lender to kick in some closing costs, take the higher rate, as it allows you to do your VA EARL again. If I took a lower rate, I can't refinance until I meet some certain criteria from the VA. That is that my interest rate has to go down at least 0.5%. I also have to meet certain break-even criteria. The VA looks at things like, is my closing cost divided by my monthly savings at least within 36 months. And there's some other criteria there, but that's kind of the gist of it. If you go all the way down to 5%, it's a lot harder for the market to get to four and a half than it is to 4.75. So you have to kind of choose the rate that you refinance in wisely. Lastly, don't ever refinance at some weird rate like 5.45 or 5.335 or 4.99. Absolute worst thing you can do. Because guess what? If the rates drop and the VA requirement is 0.5% and you you took a 4.99 interest rate thinking you got the best loan on the planet. Well, you may have at the time, but now rates are four and a half percent and you can't refinance. Why? Because you're not 0.5% better. Everybody will stop you. So take the 5%, take the five and a quarter. You just got to take the higher rate. These are my best practices for refinancing a VA loan. If you have any questions, please comment, like, and subscribe. This is Rick Elmendorf and I'll see you on the next video.